Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on compound growth and decay. So compound growth and decay are an extension on percentages and we use it to model uh, real world situations such as interest in a bank account, world population, radioactive decay, you know, there's, there's a multitude of different applications. Uh, but first of all, in, in order to understand what we mean by compound growth and decay, we first of all have to understand what simple growth and decay is or simple interest in this particular example. Uh, so the example is a bank account containing £100 gets 3% simple interest each year. How much would be in the account after five years? Well, uh, in simple interest, what we do is we take the 3% initially. Uh, so 3% of £100 is just £3. And year upon year, we just add £3. So that's simple interest. Uh, so after five years, uh, we add £3 five times. So five times three is 15. So 100 plus 15 is 115 pounds. So that's how much would be in the account after five years if uh, we're dealing with simple interest. So in reality, uh, this is never the case. And what actually happens is you get interest on top of your interest. So in compound growth, uh, you'd get 3% after the first year. Uh, that would give you 103 pounds. And then you take 3% of 103 and add that on. Uh, that's called compound interest or compound growth. So there's a formula that we use for compound growth and it looks like this. So N, which is the amount after a given time period, is equal to N0, uh, so that's a subscript zero. Uh, that's the original amount times one plus or minus. So this plus or minus symbol uh, means uh, you either add or subtract, uh, depends on the situation. And then you add the percentage or subtract the percentage divided by 100 and all of that is to the power of n, where n is the number of time periods. So let's add some annotations, so let's go through it again. So n, this is the amount after given time, or the given time period n. Uh, n naught, this was the original amount. And then uh, this percentage uh, is is added when it's growth or it's subtracted when it's decay and then finally n uh, is the time period so that could be in years it could be in days it could be in seconds it could be in weeks uh, it all depends on the context now compound growth and decay is a skill that takes some practice especially using the formula uh, so you can do so with our online exam it's available through our revision platform and if you take the test you'll find loads of different questions to practice with uh, so you get instant feedback on each and every question, which is really useful if you want to keep track of the areas that you're weakest at and find out where you need to improve. So if you're interested, you can click the link below and take the test today. It'll take you straight there.